Welcome back to Nuclear News, where we're covering exactly what is going on in the nuclear energy industries and trying to understand why the Sprott Junior Uranium Miner DTF is up 56%, beating the S&P 500, which is up 27%. Why are uranium stocks outperforming? Will they continue to outperform over the long term? That's what matters. And that's just uranium miners. SMR stocks, the small modular reactor nuclear power plant stocks, like New Scale Power, up 80% over the last year. Aklo, over the last year, just launched, but is down 25%. This is Sam Altman's SMR, right? So there's some early stage assets out there. Let's see what the future is like for SMRs and for the entire nuclear industry based on just one week's worth of news. Nuclear energy could be as transformational to shipping as shift from sale to steam. Class societies as refueling schedules could be as long as 30 years. This cannot be slept on. It is too crucial too important. If you want to know what the future is going to look like, the future is going to be powered by nuclear energy. That's why last video was titled Uranium is the New Oil, because oil used to power things like cargo ships. A national university in South Korea has opened the world's first SMR Ship Research Institute, aiming to develop a global hub for SMR Ship Research and Education. That's why I showed the price charts of New Scale and Aklo, right? Because the future is SMRs. These stocks represent the future. Absolutely massive. Obviously, the miners benefit as well. The companies that control this valuable resource that is uranium that is going to be powering all of this. Florida considers new nuclear power expansion first in decades after being included in a wide-ranging energy bill approved by Governor Ron DeSantis in the legislature. Florida is considering adding new nuclear power plants for the first time. This is why the properties controlled by these uranium miners are valuable because the demand for this fuel is skyrocketing. U.S. government helps nuclear energy allies catch up to Russia. Some of these headlines are so enormous in scale. U.S. government helps nuclear energy allies catch up to Russia and China. We have ramped up our activities to enable U.S. industry to pave the yellow brick road internationally for these advanced technologies to regain U.S. leadership along with our like-minded friends and allies, said the senior strategist for nuclear energy innovation at U.S. State Department. Right, The United States is spreading nuclear energy all around the world, just like the other big superpowers, Prime Minister Modi of India talks about the Russia visit. Russia in talks with India about building six more nuclear power plants. So it's not just the West. It's every single powerful organization on the planet paving the way for a nuclear future does not get bigger than this. And to understand the impact on the supply of uranium, the demand for the fuel itself to fuel the addition of 200 gigawatts of new U.S. nuclear power, the Department of Energy liftoff report determined that the U.S. must Increase its uranium fuel supply by 200 to 300%. Expand mining and milling operations by 22x to add 110 million pounds per year of new supply. There is a massive deficit for this fuel. The assets that control the fuel will benefit because they're going to get paid at much higher prices than we're seeing now. That's how these early stage businesses can become cash cows in the future. Here's another example of money pouring in. Appropriation process for 2025 funding starts in Washington, including a largely bipartisan energy bill that would see a significant boost in nuclear support for 2025, including small modular reactors and tech and research. Another 59 billion dollars for nuclear when passed just absolutely enormous the wall of money streaming in 